Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth and as you can see uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at One Page Dungeon Compendium, uh, the 2019 edition. Uh, first of all I want to apologize for my voice, I'm a little bit hoarse. Uh, you know it's, it's, it's the height of hay, hay fever and I'm you know suffering from my allergies and probably been coughing now for you know quite a bit of time so uh, you know, it's just catching up to me today. Um, and then with the, you know, with the COVID-19 outbreak and, you know, being home much of this time, you know, it's it's just kind of wearing kind of, you know, kind of thin. So my voice is, is kind of slipping a little bit. So getting back to uh, the video here. So one page Dungeon Compendium. Uh, I, as I said in my last video, you know, I was kind of in a you know, in a gap between getting some new, uh, some new games, uh, sent by mail. And, uh, so I started looking through, uh, drive through RPG, uh, to see I had, you know, I had a couple dollars in there from, uh, you know, from the affiliate program, uh, people, you know, linking through my videos to go purchase something. And then I get a, you know, a small percentage kickback for that. And, and I've always taken that money and, and then turned it towards, other, you know, purchasing other things for the channel to to show off. One page dungeon compendium was uh, just one of those things. Uh, it is on Drive Through RPG. It is only three dollars, and uh, there's quite a bit. Um, there's quite a bit of content uh, with this uh, three dollar PDF, and and I'm going to dig right into it and show you, you know, what I really do like about this. So I am going to switch views and open up. So here we have the uh, PDF. <coughs> and this is the compilation and layout uh, by Aaron Frost, uh, proofreading by Andre Bogaz, and then organized and such. So the judges, so these were all, um, these were all uh, submissions. And I'm going to go through and show the submission form uh, after this as well. But uh, these were the submissions uh, from 2019, or probably 18 and 19. And uh, the judges were Steve Winter, Mark Thomas, and I guess that's Chicago Wiz, um, probably Chicago Wiz. But, uh, and you can see all of the, the sponsors. So the sponsors are... Uh, John 4 Engine Publishing, Cobalt Press, Black Blade Publishing, Troll Lord Games, Shattered Pike Studio, Chaosium, Modifius, Precise or Precis, uh, Intermedia, Necrotic Gnome Productions, Ronin, Rook and Deckard, Green Ronin Publishing, and Smash Star Games. And these are the winning entries. Uh, so uh, not in any particular order, is it? Uh, oh, beginning with the highest rank. So the highest rank is uh, Plumbing the Depths by Ed Nicholson, and so on. So we'll go through all of these here. Um, now, getting to the actual, you can see there's a lot. All right, so this is 134 pages, I believe. What says 116? Um, but here you have you have some very non-traditional dungeon layouts, as you can see here. All of these are, you know, this is all a wilderness one. So all of these are a single page. They have to be uh, they have to be game system neutral, so that you can use them for any you know, any RPG. I mean, some are just encounters and there is no real map involved here. As you can see, some are very unique, just a very unique way of, of displaying these. And such as this here, a very strange way of displaying it. And this is the flow that you can follow through. 
Ghost of Mars. I, I kind of like this one. I like the, you know, just the way it's it's laid out and very, very simple format to follow and uh, and see. I really like these 3D ones. <coughs> and to get to early on, I mean, I certainly haven't picked through all of these. It's a very traditional layout that you have for dungeons here. Uh, to get to the one I wanted to focus on is, uh, so the Staff of Shifting Sands, um, by Chance Dudin Dudinak, Chance Dudinak. And I really like this one um, just because of the, the, the cleanness of the map and, you know, the 3D, you know, the 3D quality of it, you know, and, and the layout. And just how you, you have a description, you know, of the adventure and, you know, it's, you know, the primary focus is to capture the staff. Uh, the Pharaoh is the legend, so some of the backstory and then the pyramid itself, which you're dealing with here. And I'm not going to reveal too much about it. But um, I did want to show this one off. You can see there's, there are so many. It's just, you know, remarkable how much is in this, uh, how much is in this one $3 PDF. And you could use these for a variety of things. You could use these as a little side quest um, for your campaign or maybe you know, only a couple of your players uh, show up for a game. And so you might decide, all right, well, instead of doing our regular campaign that we were planning on, uh, we'll do one of these little mini, you know, mini quests. And you can have uh, pre-generated characters. That way you're, you're at least, you know, getting some role playing done on, on a time you might have set aside. I mean, slip, slipping through some of these, you can really see the variety of different layouts uh, that these various authors are, are utilizing. Uh, here's another pyramid based one. Here's a, uh, I'm sorry, wow, I don't mean for that to pop up on top there. That's pretty cool. That's my first time seeing this, a whale of a time. You can see it's kind of shaped like a whale. That's pretty cool. A mining station, so another another sci-fi. <coughs> Once again, multiple genres, um, but not not game mechanics specific. So you could utilize these uh, for a variety of different games, and uh, crack an attack. It's pretty cool. So now, if you were to want to participate in this, there's uh, also the the PDF that comes along with that three dollar purchase, is the uh, the one page dungeon contest submission guide, and so the submission guide goes through and tells you basically the format that you must use. So entries must be submitted as an unlocked PDF with no password requirements as images will be generated directly from the PDF for website gallery. Um, low quality images uh, used to create the submission will produce low quality images for the submission. So you want to, you know, you want to have, I guess, higher quality. Um, obviously the submission has to be original you're going to have to use the Creative Commons um, or OGL, and it tells you the differences between using those. The deadline is July 1st of 2020. Submissions must be sent in PDF to this above. Feedback, the one page. Uh, here's the general checklist. So A4, a U.S. letter, single-sided on one page PDF. No violations of IP, copyright, or trademark, or others. Here's some examples of layouts. So you have an old school sample. 
where you put the map here and then information and then the room uh, the room key. Here's a one page sample. All right, so sample dungeon. So yeah, kind of cool how they made that into a dungeon and they tell you what is in each of the rooms. Very, very simple model here. And so on. So they give you a variety of different uh, layouts and formats that you can use in order to meet the requirements of the submission as well. And we'll come back over here. <coughs> so as you can see, I mean, if you're if you're ever in a jam, uh, as I said earlier, where you know only a couple people show up for your game, or you're just looking to have a game and yet you, you don't really have a full blown adventure ready to go, you want to just spend a couple hours running one of these really quick scenarios, then you could do that as well. And um, as I said, I mean, I printed out uh, the Staff of Shifting Sands here, and you can see it's a it's a literally a single page. And this, along with whatever game system that you happen to be using, they're fully compatible with one another. So it's it's a really, you know, really great buy for $3 uh, on drive through RPG. So once again, thank you for joining. Uh, I hope you, you know, enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, share the videos around. Leave your questions and comments uh, in the comments section. Uh, I, I try to respond to them as quickly as I can. And, um, you know, sometimes it takes me a little while to actually meet with those requests. Uh, I, I just noticed one that was asking me to do uh, character generation for uh, Dungeon Warriors. Uh, not Dungeon Warriors, I'm sorry, Dragon Warriors. And I just haven't gotten around to it because I've had so many things come in uh, between that video and, you know, what I'm doing now and, and getting to that. So, uh, but I will eventually get to, you know, those requests. And, uh, and sometimes my turnaround on requests are a lot faster. Um, so, you know, please consider leaving requests in there uh, if there's anything you'd like for me to take a look at. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen sometime soon. If you're uh, struggling with the current uh, crisis, you know, be healthy out there. Try to keep your uh, social distancing. I know a lot of us are, are playing much more online than we used to. And, um, and, and that's, that's the silver lining in it is that, you know, many people that are forced to stay home, you know, um, we can still keep our gaming groups going and we could still, you know, we keep on playing the hobby that we all, you know, we all enjoy. And, um, and, and that's one of the great things about, you know, having this, uh, internet connectivity and, you know, the various, uh, the various programs that are out there to use, uh, to continue, you know, playing our hobby. So once again, stay healthy. Uh, good seeing you all. Look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen sometime soon. You'll have a great afternoon.